We've all heard of the website Temu, and they're the new kids on the block when it comes to plumbing tools at a ridiculously low price. So I restricted myself to 50 quid, went on their website, bought some tools that I thought looked interesting and also some that I actually needed, and thought I'd test them for you guys in the shed and out on the tools. So without further ado, let's get going. So a few days later, I've got my bits and bobs. Now, the first thing I want to show you, I've got my nice little Temu visor here. Can't remember how much this was. I just went a bit mental. I mean, everything's so cheap. Like, guys, have you used any Temu stuff? Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it. This is my first experience. So the first thing I want to do is actually a little bit of a soldering lesson for you. And that is swaging copper pipe, which is a thing that you tend to do more in air conditioning, but it's a handy little skill to know. So if you haven't got any copper fittings or you're running light, this is a really, really good thing to know. So the kit that I bought, the one I've got is actually that one over there in the, in the thing at the moment, but I've got a 5 8 one. I mean, I'm not going to use these. I mean, they come, I think they were about three quid for the whole kit. So it's like, well, let's just get a kit. This this is the mask that I got off Temu. It does look a little... What's the comic character of Max? Is he Avengers? So. Something like that. It looks like that. I do have my goggles. I've got these actually, my welding goggles that have a little flip up thing on them as well. But if I ever wear glasses, I have had to go to hospital before and I've been grinding and stuff when it's got up underneath the bridge of my nose and into my eye. I had to go to hospital at two in the morning on a Monday with Emily's mum and uh, watch a load of people for some reason necking off with each other in A&E, which is a bit random. Let's do some swaging. So this is the swaging tool that I got from Temu, the three quarter one. I slightly adapted it so it will go into 15 mil, but believe me, this should be absolutely spot on. Then I'm gonna use my little Temu mask to see well, to make sure that I don't get anything on my face. You get a bit of pipe, like so. Lightly, if you can, just pop it in here. The old swaging tools were like a big sort of screwdriver that you put in the end and try and waggle it out. But with this little thing on the end of my impact driver, if we swap places, Max, I think I should be able to quite easily get that to go in there. So, beautiful. So now, what you can do, without a pipe, without, without buying a fitting, you should be able to just get this in there, look. And then we've actually got a socket that we can swage onto. And also it cools it down nicely as well. Standard procedures for soldering. You guys know how it all works. So look how good that little swager was there. For such a small amount of money, it's quite a handy extra tool to have. It'll get you out a lot of trouble if you're on a job and you're miles away from a supplier. And for some strange reason, you've run out of 15 mil couplings or something like that. The problem is a lot of people are going, oh, how can you run out of 15 mil couplings? But I think sometimes the things you use the most are the things you run out of without knowing about. Get that in there like so. Stand a bit of heat. Blech. Make sure as well as swages, when you go in, make sure your pipes, pipe that's in there is nice and straight. So yeah, what was that? Three, three quid off Temu? And I think the other one that I've got there will do 22 mil. I mean, it is obviously a fairly brutal way of doing it using an impact driver, but you can obviously use just a standard drill or even put it on the end of a hand thing, but I think it'd be quite difficult doing that. Let's get that flame away from that battery. Just fill it up a little bit. I like to put a little bit of extra in swage fittings because what you've effectively done is narrowed the wall on that bit of copper pipe there. So it's always a good idea to add a little bit more solder to give it a little bit, a little bit of extra strength. I'm just gonna wet this. Good old England, eh? Nobbly the old bit of pipe there, but I'll tell you what, that ain't ever gonna leak. Temu! There you go, that's a little swage fit in there. I remember what a lot of people were saying with it, they're like, oh yeah, but the pipe's really weak here. Shut up! So I'd say that's a win, that's a ding for me, especially for that. Don't get anything up, and also I've noticed that it doesn't mist up that much. So I don't know if it's got like some anti-misting thing in it. And that, that is definitely gonna be one that sticks with me in my brain. Let me take 48 seconds to tell you that you can learn plumbing online in a fully structured course and curriculum designed by me from the comfort of your home or shed in your own time to improve your basic plumbing skills and knowledge. From the basics of how to use basic plumbing tools, how to turn the water off, how to join and bend copper pipe and waste pipe to a fun skills test where you'll make your own test rig, which trainees and apprentices do at MBQ level. There's even a section on the top five plumbing jobs that I'll teach you along the way. You can ask questions in the discussion panel next to each lesson 
awesome. Plus get access to the Plumbing Essentials community where you can post pictures of your work and talk about the course and learn from your peers. So if you're a young person looking to get into the industry, an apprentice who wants to brush up their skills, a DIYer interested in plumbing, or even a handyman looking to add plumbing to their services, then look no further than learnplumbingonline.com with yours truly from Plumber Parts. Anyway, back to the video. Look, at the same time, this thing must weigh, I mean, it's light, so it's made of aluminium, I think. I have tested it on a couple of bits. The one thing I like about it, look at the width of that. 68 millimeter jaw on that, down to six mil, but you could probably, I mean, I imagine it shuts, doesn't it? Run it all the way closed. Oh no, yeah, it does go just to six mil. This sort of thing, for stuff, stuff like pump valves and just big fat old nuts. I mean, on stuff like this, you know, I mean, that gets a hell of a good grip. I mean, I think if you were gonna, really, really use this to tighten up something like really required a lot of tightening up. You might sort of think about using bigger tools, yeah? I like to do up big nuts sometimes. That's all right, that gets a, a half ding because um, I'm not sure how well it will work if there's a lot of force on it, but it, sh it certainly will get us out of a lot of bother. So in it goes. I got these wire strippers as well while I was on there. Don't know how much they are. They don't go quite as wide as the set that I've got here that I've had in my box for ages. They can go back in my box. These ones though, will be handy for like three core, just like flex at home. I'll put these in Emily's tool bag. She'll like those. Also, I bought this, right? I think this was about £1.50, two quid, something like that. So many different things on here. So effectively in one tool, you got eight different wrenches in there. I'll be interested to see how much sort of power they can take, but it might be the sort of thing that's quite handy just to have in the bag actually, because I mean, most of the things that you sort of undo and do up with something like this, it's not gonna be a vast amount of pressure on there. And it is nice to have all those tools in one. So that is definitely going in. My bag, I really need to reorganize it. There's so much stuff going in there at the moment. Some silicon smoothers. Now, I'm not really sure these are gonna need a lot of demonstrating, but the cost of them compared to the usual set. So I've got two types of silicon smoother. I've got my silicon block when it's gonna stop, and I've got my B-Deck silicon smoothers as well. These are exactly the same as the B-Deck ones. B-Deck set was 25 quid, I think, something like that. Didn't have as many of these, okay. And this set here, I think was three or four quid. Honestly, if this just lasts a couple of months, that is quality. The one thing that sort of shows you what's a good set or a bad set is how easy they are to clean. And I, you know, I can't think these are gonna be that hard to clear off. It's just a little bit of blue roll. So we'll give these a go in a minute. I'm gonna give a, a little silicon go in a sec. But along the silicon line as well, look, these things go on the end of your silicon gun Silicon comes out of there and you can just drag it along the corner. It'll give you a nice silicon bead, apparently. One thing about these that I'm not 100% sure about is how to clear them out when you finish using them. You might have to stick something down there, but I'm not sure these will be, well, we'll see. I think these might be something that's good for like a DIYer. I'm probably more likely to use these ones that I got off Temu instead. So look, let's give both of these a try. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you that I got myself is just a little bit of a treat is a heated jacket that just works off like one of your charge up battery jobbies, you know, like the phone batteries you have. Right, so under the bath. Who put this in, eh? <laughs> Someone did a good job. So silicon gun, I'm gonna try this one first. Now as a professional plumber, I'm not 100% sure I'd use this, but we'll see. And we'll just push the gun and then out the end, we should see in a minute that we get a bit of silicon. There we go. So I imagine you get in here like this, you push, not the best thing to do it on, but oh, I tell you what, let's do it on the back of this. I haven't done this bit yet. I'll tell you what, there might be an unknown little advantage the fact that you can get down behind the tap, then can't you? So, get behind the tap. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Come in there. Hmm, what do you think? I think if you did it in one move and didn't, didn't it, be, it, that'd be better. I jitter it. You're blaming me now. I mean, how about I take the camera and you have a go? No. Let's just go, all right, we'll try it your way this way, nice and easy, yeah? I'll tell you what, that ain't too bad. With a little bit of practice, you could get quite good at that. Six out of 10. For a DIY, that's not bad. The ending's awful, but I mean, they always are, aren't they? You know what, maybe this is good to use with those smoothers, let's try that. So the green one and the blue one, they're, they're actually both the same size, they're just different colors. 
See, that is kind of like, that's me. That's a bit of me, that one is, number eight. Bearing in mind, the usual smoothers I use are about 20 quid. Let's see what these are like. <laughs> ah, nice, that's lovely. See that? That is sweet as nut, isn't it? Well done, Tammy, this is decent. Look, I just want to see this, look. So my other ones, yeah, they come off quite nicely. The only way I could say you clean that out is to either blow it out or, I don't know, I wouldn't say that. Maybe like shove a pen up it or whatever, but yeah, I'm not sure how to clean these out, but at the moment I'd be a lot happier just using those, these, I mean, these are brilliant value for money. The fact that you get all these different sizes as well, that is quality. Let me just get this last little bit down here done. These are bloody hard to do, but I'm gonna say a 10. They do exactly what they should do at a fraction of the price of the ones that I buy normally from uh, my local wholesaler. So yeah, Temu, that gets a 10. Uh, not that anyone from Temu is ever gonna watch this. <laughs> Unless if they do, can you imagine they did? And I got sent loads of Temu stuff. If they'd have said, oh, do you want anything from Temu? I'd have said, oh, I want that heated jacket. But I've already bought it. <laughs> so this is me little Temu jacket. One thing I would say, if you're gonna go to Temu now to buy one, I mean, this is a small. This is a small, okay? So you get a power bank, any standard power bank, shove that in there and then look, this lights up. Shove the old power bank in the pocket, out the way. You've got three or four different things that you can like, have on or off. The shoulders, the arms, the front and the back. I just turn everything on and then that's it. You are toasty warm for ages. I had this during fireworks night. Where are we now? I should know because my wife's expecting a baby. Well, I've had it since then and it has been absolutely brilliant. I have walked to the gym with it on a few times and when, it, when I've had my bag on the back, you can really feel your back heating up. But it does just get you nice and toasty. I wish I had it earlier on today when we were filming in a hole out in a wet, rainy, muddy field, but I didn't want to get it dirty. But yeah, really, really good. I like to wear hoodies underneath like my jackets. So it's kind of nice to have it slightly bigger. It's quite a bit of room in there. And also obviously it works for longevity because I do plan to eat quite a lot over the next two years with the little Lanier and all the rest of it. So there's my test of some of the Temu products I bought. I did buy some bending springs, but they didn't, they didn't work very well. So don't get the bending springs. That's one thing I'd say. There is like a whole spectrum of stuff on the Temu website. And I just went on there and bought some little bits and pieces that I thought would be the things that I use quite a lot, especially those silicon profiles and also the tap spanner. I like the little flaring tool as well, that was good. And also the little wire snips are really, really good. Pop over to Temu's website if there's anything you think. I mean, everything's so cheap on there. If what you buy doesn't do what you want it to do, you can just return it or just go, well, I took a hit on that, it was only two or three quid. So it won't be the last time I pop on to Temu to buy some bits. I'll definitely go and get some more silicon profilers when these ones get a bit old because they do kind of wear away over time. My standard B-deck ones, I'll probably not use anymore or when they've run out, I won't buy them again. I'll just get them from Temu. And if there's anything you guys have seen on Temu, maybe message us on the comments below and say, like request us to test it out and maybe we can test it for you and let you know whether it's any good or not because there are a lot of these websites out there and sometimes it's hard to know whether it's of any quality i think what i've got today is a very very good quality and i'm pleased to have it so if you like this video you'll also like this video here this one is all about digging a massive hole me getting incredibly angry enjoy